Hello, in this problem we have an infinite series and the question is determine whether the series is convergent or divergent. If it is convergent, find its sum. So whenever you have a series like this, it's written out this way, you want to see if it's geometric. So you're trying to find something called R, which is the common ratio. And so what is this? R is a number which when you multiply one of the terms, you should get the other one. So what do you multiply? by this in order to get this? Well, 0 0.4. And then what do you multiply by this in order to get this? Well, 0 0.4. So R is called the common ratio. So we can use this number to get the next term uh, always. This is called the common ratio. So you always want to look for this, this magical number that you can use to get each of the terms and most of the time you'll be able to find it especially if this is a problem you're doing for like a class or something uh, usually these are oftentimes it's geometric so this is a geometric series because we have a common ratio and now we can use something called the geometric series test so g s t so the geometric series test says if the absolute value of r is less than one then our series converges and if the absolute value of R is greater than or equal to 1, then our series diverges. So in this case, if you look at R, it's just 0 0.4. So if you take its absolute value, you're just basically taking the absolute value of 0 0.4. And that's just 0 0.4. And that's less than 1. So our series converges by... And then you should probably name the test if you're doing this for like a class or something. So by the geometric, and in general, you're supposed to you know, justify things in math. So very important to, to justify it like this. And that's it. We've, we've completed the problem. Oh, it did say to find the sum uh, if it converges. I almost forgot. Um, so whenever you have uh, a geometric series and you are looking for the sum, all you have to do is take the first term. So in this case, it's 1. And then you have to divide by 1 minus r. So 1 minus 0 0.4. Always. It's always the first number here, whatever you have here, and then divide by 1 minus r. Always. So this is 1 over 0 0.6. And let's say you don't have a calculator for some reason, like your batteries are broken or you can't use one. How do you do this? Try to think of 0.6 as 6 tenths. So this is really, let me do it up here, 1 over 6 tenths. Right, because that's in the tenths place. And when you take 1 and divide by 6 tenths, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So 10 over 6. So you just get 10 over 6, which is actually 5 over 3, because 2 goes into 10 5 times, and 2 goes into 6 3 times. So this infinite sum is convergent, and it is equal to 5 thirds. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.